Hey guys, it's Jade. So I'm here today talking about how to make your hair lighter, especially if you've got black hair or really dark hair, how to go from dark hair to blonde hair. So when I was hairdressing, like probably over 50% of my clients were dark wanting to go light. So it is quite a popular thing for people to want to do, to change the hair color, have something new and something different. Um, so hopefully this video is going to help you, especially if you're in that boat from wanting to go from dark to light. Hopefully it's going to help you and give you guys some, some information and some feedbacks to kind of know what you guys are in for. The biggest thing I can stress to you is make sure you allow plenty of time. I'm not talking a week, I'm talking more like a year. Honestly, it takes that long. It is not a quick fix. When I was hairdressing, my pet hate was coming into work, seeing a, my first client with black hair, and I'd go up and say, oh, you know, what are we doing today? And she'd say, I want to go blonde. And I'd be like, okay, well, yes, we can do that, but you're going to have to allow it some plenty of time. You want to do it in gradual processes so your hair stays nice and healthy. Well, there was a party I wanted to go to tonight and I wanted to be blonde for the party. Okay? <laughs> so yeah, that was my absolute pet hate because people, and it's not your fault, people just didn't understand what your hair has to go through to get to that light. Even if you put a wash in your hair, say a six week wash or something like that, it stays in there for longer than six weeks six weeks trust me <laughs> and every time you color your hair it's just going to build up and build up and build up just say you go to the salon and you get an all-over color your first all-over color and you absolutely love it six weeks later you want to get another one and you keep getting more and more and more and more even though you've got regrowth and it's just new color coming over the top if that color is going through the ends every single time that could be like six or seven colors that have built up on your ends. Even though if it says it's a semi-permanent colour, it's still going to be there. Trust me, it is still there. So it's still going to be built up on your ends. And if it's a permanent colour, it's going to be even harder to get out because it's permanent. <laughs> so you really want to make sure that you're committed to going light before you actually do it because it is a long process. And trust me, there are some very unpleasant shades in between from dark to light. <laughs> okay, so to start off with, the hair colour scale ranges, depending on what brand, from a 1 or a 2 up to a level 10. Now 10 is blonde, the blondest blonde that you can possibly get, like platinum blonde. A level 6 is considered a dark blonde, but it is more like a light brown. Level 1 or 2 is black. That is basically the rough kind of outline of it and all, every in between is you know goes up and up and up. So roughly from a level 1 or 2 to a level 5 in hairdressing terms, the underlying pigment of that, so the base colour underneath is red. From a level 5 to a level about 7, the underlying pigment is orange. And from a level 7 up to a level 10, underlying pigment is yellow. So basically, if for those of you who might have experienced, you may not have experienced. If your hair is black and you put bleach in it, instantly, it's going to go red. It does depend on how long you've been dark for and how many multiple coats of colour you've put over your hair. So unfortunately for those that are dark and are wanting to go light, you're going to have to go through those underlying pigment stages. First, your hair will go red then it will go orange, then it will go yellow before it will get to blonde. It is an extremely lengthy process and I would always recommend my clients to allow at least a year to do it healthy, to do it on a healthy level. You don't want to keep bleaching and bleaching and bleaching your hair because what happens is, I'll give you an example, for instance, just say you've had your hair red. Then you say, oh, I don't like red, I want to go black, put black over the top. Oh, now I want to try and go blonde. All those colours that you've put in there, even if they were a semi-permanent, they were a wash-off, they're still going to be in your hair. The damage of opening your cuticle and closing your cuticle is still going to be there. So the more colours you apply, the weaker and weaker and weaker your hair is going to get. Basically, like, like drawing texture over texture over texture, it's just going to rip through the paper. So you do need to be careful the amount of times you do it. I always recommend waiting at least eight weeks in between each colour. And 
alternating from maybe a forehead to half a head the next time then a forehead just to give your hair a little bit of a break if you try and do it all in one step honestly your hair is going to fall out it's going to feel like wet lettuce it's going to be awful and you're not going to have you're not going to be able to style it you're not going to be able to do anything with it it's just going to look awful i don't know if any of you guys saw um katy perry a while ago when she was obviously trying to go light and her hair was orange and in so many magazines and online people were like why has katy perry dyed her hair orange oh why has she done that obviously she didn't do it intentionally that is exactly what happens when you try to go light once you've been dark for a very long time it that is the downside of trying to do it. It is it is doable, but if you're going to do it, you're going to have to be committed to it. Because trust me, there are some very unpleasant stages of orange and red that your hair is going to go through. It does obviously depend on how dark you are to start off with and how light you will like to end up. But I've been through it multiple times in my hairdressing career and it's not fun and I Oh, it's just absolutely awful. If you are wanting to go from black to blonde, or very dark to blonde, honestly, make sure that it's something that you want to do. Because if you get halfway there and don't like it and want to go back dark again, bang, that's you're not going to be able to go light for at least another year again because your hair's been through that much damage already. And you just, yeah, you've got to be very, very careful and very set on that is what you want to do. And you're going to have to be committed and stick with it. Next piece of advice is don't do it yourself. Go to a salon, go to a hairdresser and get it done professionally because they have the proper colours and they have the proper toners. Toners are a massive thing if you're trying to go light because as I said your hair is going to be unpleasant shades of red and orange for a little while and toners is what's going to help soften it and try and make it look a bit more natural and more bearable to live with. And also cost factor, it can be extremely expensive but trust me it is worth going to the salon to get it done. But by spacing it out, it's not going to be as expensive for you rather than if you try to get it done all in one go. Um, personally, it depends on your hairdresser and what they do. Some hairdressers will do like a cleanse first, which is basically like a bleach bath. They use a bleach, they use a peroxide and shampoo and conditioner and basically use that and wash it all over the hair and that will just try and get rid of the base kind of residue of all the darkness in there and try and lighten it a little bit. Um, I had that done with my hair when I went light and as soon as you have it done your hair's orange instantly, red orange. So we did that and then we went through with just a few foils. Um, so if you are trying to go light I do recommend doing foils rather than just trying to do your whole head because foils are a lot more gentle on your hair because they what they do is they weave out sections so some sections will be left out and other sections will be coloured so those sections are going to have a little bit of a break while the rest of the hair gets coloured and it does make it a lot more natural and it is going to be a lot more gentler on your hair major thing that I always recommend is having regular trims and regular treatments so many people um, when they start going lighter if they have quite long hair they're like no I, I want to keep my hair long I want to keep my hair long one thing you're going to have to just admit to yourself is you're going to have to cut your hair you're going to have to lose a bit of length if you want to go light because you don't want to end up with a chemical haircut which is where the ends are just so dead they just split off and by having regular trims it's going to make your hair a lot healthier it's going to stop the ends from splitting so they will actually grow instead of just splitting off themselves so when I started to go light Gosh, my hair was probably, yeah, about here. So I have lost, you know, a good couple of inches of length. Obviously, I did get more trimmed off than what was necessary, but I was just so sick of my hair being fried and feeling like crap. So obviously, you will be losing some length when you go lighter, and that's just something that you're going to have to deal with. If you choose not to get your hair cut, I mean, that's completely up to you, and your hair may stay a bit longer, but the ends are going to be so dry, it's going to feel absolutely crap. You will really struggle to brush it and you will really struggle to style it and get it looking healthy. So it is your personal preference but I do recommend getting it trimmed after every colour that you have. And as I said, regular treatments. After every single colour you have, I do recommend you get a treatment because that is what's going to lock in the extra protein, make your hair a lot stronger. Also help to close your cuticle to make it smoother and just make the colour and the feel of your hair a lot better. All right, lastly, home care. Now, depending, you know, everyone has their own kind of routine and what things they like to use. The product that I found most beneficial to me was Kerastase um, 
the resistance range, which is the green range, and that is amazing for repairing and strengthening hair that is really weak. Fantastic for blondes, and they have an absolute, go absolutely gorgeous heat protection cream. So, I do recommend that you do get a really good products, shampoo and conditioner treatment, um, heat protection creams, and just really focus on repairing your hair and making it stronger and healthier. I do also highly stress that you need to get salon brand products because. Um, Pretty much 90% of all supermarket products and chemist bought products um, have silicon in it. All products have silicon in it, but the silicon that I'm talking about is man derived silicon, so man made silicon. And the hard thing with that is yes, it might make your hair feel silky and soft and shiny and things like that. Is um, when it comes to colouring, it can actually have a chemical reaction with the bleach, depending on what bleach it is. Um, and yeah, and almost sometimes I've seen foils have a chemical reaction. The foils start to fizz and they almost can explode. So you need to be, I do highly recommend using salon products because that is going to help your hair a lot in the long run. Not only is it going to make it feel better, softer, shinier, the product's going to last longer, but it will stop that man-derived silicon from building up in your hair and will make your colour a lot better. After you have your colour done, um, Try not to kind of brush it at least for a day. Try not to run your hands through it or straighten it or iron it because that is when your hair is at its weakest stage. Also, when your hair is wet, your hair is also at its weakest stage. So be extremely careful with your hair when it's wet. Don't go ripping a comb through because you're going to do really bad damage to your hair. So just be extremely careful. Even just let it dry naturally. Just put lots of product in it and let it dry naturally and then you can go through with your styling and that way it's going to save your hair a lot of unnecessary stress. That's all I've got to really say. If you have any, any more further questions, just post a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer them for you. I'd also love you to rate and subscribe to my channel completely free and that way you always know when I have new videos and updates and all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, if you are thinking of doing this, I'd love to you know see a video response or just hear your stories if you've been through a similar thing. And yeah, have a lovely day and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye!